Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Cosmo. Uh, so we're going to be doing a run through of the remastered Animusha onto the PS4. Um, I haven't even gotten into the game, I haven't even looked at it yet, so. I have been, as you guys know from my um, other one, I've been dying to play this. And so it just barely came out yesterday, uh, so I bought it, and yeah, we're just going to see how this looks. Um, how it stacks up to the PS2 one. I know they added some things as well, but I just want to see how this looks. You know, I want to want to see how it runs, feel it. I know they updated the movement, some other stuff. Like they added an ultimate difficulty, like a really hard difficulty. Whole bunch of trophies. I did look at those. Just real quick. But yeah, no, most of them is like just play the game and you can get like most of the trophies, no problem. That mantis looks like he's trying to fight the sun. It was really cool. That doesn't look too bad. Could be better, but I mean, hey, it's a remaster, not a remake. Finally, engage the enemy. You know, I have always wondered, like, what would happen after that when, I mean, the general of one army and the general of the other army, when they both die at the same time, do you just, like, go home after that? I mean, you gotta wonder. It's like both men leading the charge are down now, I mean, there's not much else to do. Unless you want to fight to the last man, for no reason now. I will save Princess Yuki. The only thing that really bugs me with this intro is how did he know she was in danger? I mean, he was on a battlefield. It was a draw, obviously. I mean, both sides lost. And then he just immediately booked it to Princess Yuki's castle. And, like, burst inside, like, didn't even fight the guards. Like, the guards 
had no idea who he was. He attacked him on sight. Because he's in such a rush. And then he finds the letter that says, Hey, I'm in trouble. Come help. That's the only thing to me that doesn't make sense. Dear Samunosuke, I am writing this letter in the hopes you will read this in time to help. Something is wrong within the Inabayama castle. Some of the maids and servants have gone missing, and I fear that it might be the work of monsters. I am so scared, Samunosuke. People tell me that the monsters eat the maids and servants and then take their remains to someplace deep underground. When I told my brother Yoshitatsu about this, he did not seem interested. He is too busy preparing for his upcoming battle with Nobunaga. Samunosuke, Although it has been a few years since we were forced to take separate paths due to the battle between my father Dosan and my brother Yoshitatsu, you are still the only one that I can rely upon. I can only hope that you receive this letter and that you will find it in your heart to come and save me before it is too late. Yours faithfully, Yuki. Although the other thing that I do like about the opening cutscene is just how gritty that fight is. This way, sir. I mean, the people were literally rolling around in the dirt. If our princess is at the keep, there are two ways to get there. The western path, or the northern passage. Kaede, I'll go north. You follow them through the other way. Understand. Well, the coloring looks really good in this. I can actually kind of see what's going on. You can use the directional stick, as well as the D-pad still if you want. That's good. Princess Yuki! Man, they used a lot of background pictures in this, I'm, I'm now noticing, and it's actually kind of hurting Princess my Yuki, eyes. Your Highness! Yes, to save the princess. We're done here. I have missed you so much since you left the castle. What? Feet. Oh, look at his feet. <laughs> uh, princess. Samanoski. Samanoski. And I'm never going to unsee that now. Oh. Samanoski.
With your current power, you are not capable of destroying our demons. We will give you our powers. We are the clan of Ogres that has been subverted by the demons. Semenoske, defeat and seal their souls to your right hand. Destroy, Destroy all the all demons! demons. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. So, fortune has smiled upon me this day. The power of this gauntlet, I will destroy. All of those monsters and save the princess. I love how he doesn't question any of it. He's like, Monsters took the princess. I can't kill the monsters. Oh, cool, I got a gauntlet. This allows me to kill monsters. So, for those of y'all new to this game, so you hold down, so you kill demons, uh, their souls pop out, you hold down circle to absorb them. We don't have magic just yet, but once we do, you use triangle to use your magic. Uh, red orbs are experience, blue orbs is magic, yellow orbs give you health back, and then we get to a mirror and we can use it to enhance our weapons and not our armor, sadly, just our weapons. So, so here's the magic mirror where you can save and oh my god, that's so much faster. Oh, that's great. Man, the character models look a lot better, but the background still, like, I feel like they did not, I feel like they didn't up us those pictures at all. I feel like they look the exact, look at that background picture. Ooh, it takes damage. And that's how we fight, essentially. Hey, hey, your soul's mine. Got a trophy. So I'm not going to be doing any kind of weird stuff, I'm just going to play the game normally. So I'll upgrade everything, I'll get all the armor, try and get full health, full magic, you know, all that fun stuff. Hurry! Monsters! Close the door, now! But someone is there! Forget him! Forget him. I mean, you can't blame him, honestly. Got me good. Yes! Nailed it. That's your counter attack. So if you hit square right as they're getting ready to attack you, you'll jump behind them and do a uh, insta kill. Open the door! I've killed all the monsters! He killed? Huh? What should we do? It's like, I love how they peek. Like, did you really? You! Ah. Sorry. We are very sorry. Please forgive us. What happened to you? They came out of nowhere and attacked us. The keep may have also been attacked by them. The keep is ahead of us that way? Right. The forest road there is a shortcut to the keep. I see. So if you have an herb, I think you can um, help this guy out, maybe. I mean, we do, but for some reason it ain't letting me use it. Hmm. I wonder if we could. I mean, obviously if you click use, 
like if I click on it, it's gonna use it on me. Can't kill him. That's the map. <laughs> Damn. Oh well, I'll be back. Maybe you need medicine. That might be it. Yeah, so you can upgrade the herbs, for anyone who doesn't know, you can upgrade the herbs to medicine. And they just recover more health. Oh, right, but the second you jump back down, you can't. Hmm. Haha, -ha, here's an herb. I didn't even see that. Alright, let's try it. I'm really interested. Yeah, because, like, the second you jump down that hole, you can't come back. I'm just kind of exploring right now. Y'all can skip ahead if you're bored or whatever. Hmm. Alright, so let me actually save it, and then I'm gonna see if I can give medicine to that dude. So it looks like I totally can, and then I'll come back in a bit, and we'll see what's up. Alright, so, looks like you cannot save this poor bastard, so he's just gonna die. That being said, we're just gonna go onward, drop down that hole... And call it a day. And don't forget to get the herb that was right here, by the way. That's since I totally forgot, almost forgot about it. But yeah, it is kind of sad because that's like the only part of the entire game that we can't go back to. the map. That's the map up. Oh, I love these scrolls so much. They're so cool. The Shogun's Note. So I'll let you guys pause that and read it if you want to. I pretty much already... I, I've played this game so much. I know almost every nook and cranny. I shouldn't have all the fluorite memorized by now, you'd think, but I don't. I know there's one right here, in this corner. Or, in the box, somewhere over here. And then, we open this up, get the Genbu. Oh, Seryu, see? I'm close. So you just need these to do the... So there's boxes that contain health things that up... Just little yellow jewels to upgrade your health. Boom. Nailed it. And so you need all these books. The Seryu, the Genbu, a couple of the other two. Otaku. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Journal number one. Again, I'll let you guys pause it. And then I'll scroll down. And I'll let you guys pause it again. And here's the Sheedon. In this case, lightning does strike twice. At least the sword looks good. I noticed that like all the models look really good. Like all the characters and stuff. And then everything else looks the exact same. <laughs> I'm just kind of wondering like how much effort did they put into this? Super easy puzzle here. So you have three moves. You gotta line up the numbers. So going across. So literally left, right, left. That's all you do. Rope ladder. 
There's a little box in the corner to the left if you can see it. Just a little hint of yellow. For a magic jewel! So we're just going to use that immediately. And see? Gave us a little bit more magic. Didn't fill the magic bar with it though, which is very sad. Aha! These things. So these things give you, like, power jewels and stuff. So once we get all of the Genbus and the Seryus and the other books, we can essentially decode these and um, figure out what they say. I I think, I think I remember what it is, but don't quote me on that. Damn. Because it's like Clan of Ogres is like the three... Yeah, I see. I, I remember it was this one definitely for the middle. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll figure it out later. So this literally is equip the um, lightning sword, walk up to it, and hit X. So the the orb in the middle just is the level of your orb in the gauntlet. So we have a lightning orb which allows us to wield the lightning sword. So once we get the orb up to level three, then we can boom. Then we can um, go. It pretty much anywhere in the game. So you do have to level up the orb. Other than that, you can straight up just not level the weapons if you want. That's actually the a trophy, is playing it on normal until you upgrade any of your weapons. So this guy is just a big demon. Oh. oh, I wasn't blocking. I thought I was. Yes! Nailed it! Oh, that made me feel good. Did not nail that one. Wow. Damn. Got all that life. So, obviously, Red Orb, probably going to get a Fire Sword. Can't go in there yet. Can't go to that other door, so Dora says we go this way. You're welcome. And he gave us an herb. All in a day's work. So literally all that is, is save that guy is that trophy. So, dry moat. Need equipment to descend. Just got the ladder, so. Just gonna use that. It's a one-time use. Can't pick it back up and take it with us, so. Just gonna use it. Should be some more ninjas popping out right here. Oh, guess it's on the way back out. Another box that we can't decode. Some stuff this way. I like medicine, because guess what? There's boss fight. Another fire door orb, so because it's boss fight, we're just gonna save it right here. I might have enough orbs to enhance, but I'm not quite sure. Either way, I'm just gonna save before the fight. Can't get that box. I don't remember the combo. I never remember the combo. I should dev I should be watching my playthrough while I'm playing. Like, <laughs> where is the princess? Mm. Humans Man, are more tasty I love the fact that the goblet drinks. Eaten in a like while. it's gotten high. <laughs> that blue fire too is really cool. So just use all your magic. Like, it doesn't even matter. Oh. 
I'm trying to do like a deadly counter strike to him. Oh, come on! Oh, I didn't cut off the thing. Let me use an herb. Try. I want to be cool. Damn. Oof. All right. Don't be cool. I guess you can't counter this boss. You can block him though. That overhead swing you can't block. Just beware. That's why I dodged it. You can block those. Goes into a frenzy because he's losing. Oh, I didn't dodge it. These camera angles suck, I know. Now he's tired. Get that blue orb so we can magic! Yes! Right before he attack, too. There it is. Uh, how could I die? Oh, they implemented an autosave feature. A human. Oh. Cool. Be quiet, monster. It is time for you to go back to the underworld. And then all the souls get you full magic and health. Can't go back out, unfortunately, so you can only go through. Just step around his uckiness. Journal number two. Uh, again, I'll let you guys pause that. It's a re they're really good reads. I mean, they're amazing. The writing's really well. And then I'll let you guys pause that. So there's a fluorite right here on the ground as well. The reason I'm not picking him up is because I want to wait until I have the thing that makes them shine on the ground, and then come back and get all of them. So that way I get the silver trophy, show you guys where they're all at on a whole video. Sweet. Beautiful. All that fun stuff. There's a fire sword, the fire orb, in the corner. So we can get back out. What's that smell? Who's there? A human? How disappointing. Face me, demon! Who do you think you are talking to? I haven't seen one as foolish as you since that, uh, Nobunaga. Nobunaga? <laughs> I operated on and resurrected that pitiful Nobunaga after he was killed in Okihazuma. He then made a pact with the demons and pledged his eternal loyalty to serve us forever as our slave. No! Oh, yes, it is indeed true. Now, let me show you my most recent creation. <laughs> Go, Renato! Fight the belly of that maggot and feast upon his bloody flesh! <laughs> I love how he doesn't have a stomach. By the way, he splits in two! Oh, nice! Did it on accident. And he's dead. Great. That made me happy. So let's get the fire orb. Cohen. So that's two out of our three swords right off the bat. I think that's crazy. So the lightning sword's very balanced. This one's a heavy sword, so next sword's gonna be speed. Big stone slab. Yeah, can't read it. And then just a bunch of other stuff. Crazy experimental stuff on the walls. So now with the fire sword we can leave. Yeah, see like only three attacks on this one where the lightning sword had I think four or five? Four. Oh, 
they still they didn't fix that. So when you do um a downward stab attack, your animation locks. So when you go to execute him, yeah, your animation locked, and you just yeah. So these things just eat orbs in the vicinity. You can't really do anything about them except keep doing overhead attacks like that until you can get those orbs back. The only problem is, is after a while they'll start to disappear. And I've lost lots of orbs from that happening, actually. There we go. So that's all of this demon's souls. Haha, <laughs> demon souls. So now we got five whole levels we can upgrade shit. I'll just do this in case I ever want to go back for the fluorite, which of course I do. That'll be a whole video on its own, like I said. Don't even worry about that box. We only have one thing, we can't upgrade it. So with this, always upgrade the orbs first, so that way you can get into higher and higher level doors, and then upgrade the swords. So I'm going to do Sheedin first. And then what I like to do is I like to get everything to a level 2, and then upgrade everything to a level 3. So, like, I'll do level 2 orbs, and then now I'll work on the swords and get those to a level 2. Swords take a lot more souls than the orbs do, so just be aware of that. Gonna save. And that, my friends, is the first half hour of the game. We kill our first boss fight, get our first two swords, and we call it good. And if you ever need to switch, just come into here and hit X, and then hit yes to equip it. And then you can always go back to your regular sword as well, too, if you want, which I think is insane. If you do that, you're a psychopath, but hey. And then, of course, you have three different armors you can get as well. So, yeah. It's the first half hour of the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time for whatever we decide to do next. <laughs>